YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Duke back here from SportsGamers.com and in today's Madden 22 tip video, I'm going to break down the new money play that all the pros are running that is absolutely unstoppable. It beats every defense in the game. Best part about this is this tip works for both current and next gen, so no matter what system you play on, you can use this and you don't need any abilities, anything specific. This can work with any team in any game mode. And I'm going to show you guys how to execute this play against any defense in the game. It's very unique, very effective, and it's just unstoppable. So what I'm about to show you can either be done from Gun Bunch Offset or Gun Bunch. Um, it's a specific play you want to look at that's in various playbooks throughout these formations. But for the purposes of this video, I did choose the Carolina Panthers playbook on offense. I just love that playbook whenever I want to run a bunch. It has great bunch offset, some tight formations, and some other stuff I like as well such as this split twins, gun split twins. I put up a few tips on this formation as well. But the play we're going to look at here is going to be the mesh spot. Now, you definitely want to have a good running back and good tight end for this play. And I like to have my best receiver in the slot. It's not necessary, but that's just the way I get the most effectiveness out of this play. Mesh spot is very, very unique, and I'm about to explain why. So... We're going to go through how to beat all the defenses in the game when running this play. Now, one of the things you're starting to see a lot online is people just sit back in this lazy cover three defense. Now, we're going to move the ball back. And when you run gun bunch, you always want to make sure you have the bunch on the wide side of the field, as we do here. And guys, just a reminder, if you enjoy my free Madden 22 content on YouTube, I do tips, gameplays, and, vi and videos for news. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop us a like on the video, turn your notifications on, comment, all that stuff helps me out a lot. But yeah, this lazy cover three defense is becoming pretty popular since EA decided to patch a lot of the cover three beaters. Now, this setup on this play is super simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna put the outside receiver that's by himself on an out, you're gonna streak your inside slot receiver, and you're gonna put your outside receiver on a flat. That is it. Now, the reason why this play works so good is the unique routes that you have to your running back and your tight end. These quick little wheel routes are so difficult to stop this year, and if you do happen to have the backfield master mismatch ability on your running back, this route is basically unguardable unless usered. It still is pretty much unguardable no matter what, but when you have that ability, it does put a little extra spice onto this play to where the guy will catch it no matter how good the coverage is. So you guys can see here what happens is essentially the coverage on both of these wheel routes flares out to the sideline because we have an out route and a flat. If you're enjoying my YouTube content, I highly recommend you check out sportsgamers.com. This is where I post all my premium Madden 22 content. I have ebooks, offensive and defensive schemes, plus I do four to six premium tips every week in the Madden vault. This content is available for both current and next gen, so no matter what system you play on, we got you guys covered. Our best offer yet is the Sports Gamers Madden VIP membership. This gives you access to the entire site, every tip, every ebook, plus the meta reports for only $19.99. I'll post a link to it in the description and the comments. Make sure to check it out for the best tips and content available at the best price anywhere. So what happens when running this play is that the flat routes basically flare out the zone coverage to where you can throw these wheel routes of tight end and running back pretty much at well unless you are guarded. The great thing about this play is we have two of these routes, so there's no way that the user can guard both of them. And if the coverage is tight, you can just throw a low pass and possess and catch it, and it's money in the bank against any coverage in the game, guys. So let's take a look at why this works, looking at the tight end side of the field. You can see Thomas, he's on a wheel, but I also put Anderson on a flat. So this stresses this flat defender, and he's going to flare out horizontally, leaving a void in the middle. Now, hook zone defender over here has to go with our streak. If he doesn't, the streak is an easy pass in the seam. So as soon as my tight end cuts up field, I can kind of just throw a low pass, and you guys can see if I zoom out here, turn the camera around, that at this point I'm about to release the ball, and I'm just clicking on it to get a nice little possessing catch animation. And I go down, and this is this is a catch every single time. And this is a free about 10 yards, maybe more, depending upon how I execute this. But it's super easy, super consistent. I'm going to do it a few more times and switch my coverage up. So, again, you guys can see the running back. 
And a lot of times you can even rack catch it if the coverage is not that close. So if they switch up their defense, that's fine. Man-to-man -man coverage you would think would probably be the best way to stop this. But the thing about wheel routes like this is they still get open no matter what. And you guys can see here, I didn't even put the outside receiver on an out route. But the, the tight end gets that inside position. And as soon as you see that inside position, you just throw a low pass and click on a possession catch it. And the defense does not react to these low balls, even in man coverage. You guys can see here, same thing with the running back, inside position, low ball. It's a possession catch every single time. So man to man is not going to work either. Uh, let's switch it up to a cover two. We're going to show a blitz and then we'll just play straight cover two. So one of the defenses that's still pretty common is blitzing uh, out of cover two. And the thing about this is that, you know, when you're going to blitz out of cover two, you're definitely going to leave something open. Uh, whether it's the seam on the streak, maybe a flat if you zone dropped it, or just the, the, the simple wheel routes. Now what could happen here is, you know, you keep on doing this over and over and over again. If they're going to blitz you, they're probably going to watch the, the running back and probably just use or guard him, which is fine. But if that happens, then they're just giving up the seam route or the tight end. I know we dropped the ball. But that's why these other routes are important on the field so that they can't just key in on your two wheel routes. Now, I, I know the wheel routes are going to pretty much get open no matter what, but still, they could use their one and then take the other away quick enough that if they do blitz you, you're going to have to be comfortable throwing your hot reads to either the, the seam on the streak, the quick flats, if they do use the running back, okay? So that is something to keep in mind. Now, I do want to note, though, that cover two coverage in general is just, it's not going to stop this. Um, even if they don't blitz you, you just have to know how to throw this ball. So here, we're going to take a look at the same play against a just stock cover two. We're not really doing any blitzing. And you guys can see that as long as you, and that was a horrible pass lead, by the way. I didn't low ball it. That was my mistake. As long as you wait for him to get inside position, he's going to be there every time. And let me just click off this guy uh, so I can get on the D lineman and get out of the way of the play. But yeah, you, you generally do want to just low ball it, and that's going to give you that inside position. I got an inaccurate pass right there. It's going to be a catch every single time. Now, the one thing I will say is if they do have acrobats, they happen to have acrobats on the players you're uh, targeting defensively, you got to wash out a little bit more. But especially on the side of the streak with the tight end, this is going to kill cover two. Because the flat, again, remember, the flat is being taken away by the flat route. And any hook zone we have over there has to follow the streak, which then opens up this little soft spot. So, you know, that's going to be open every time. And the running back, even though there's a hook zone sitting right there, as you see, if you wait to time it right, you can just lowball it in there and they, they do not react. So this is definitely a play that you will need to take into practice mode to get the timing for this down. But once you do, I mean, you guys can see... You can kind of run this up and down the field. Now, the crazy thing about this is this is in Gun Bunch. So, we all know Gun Bunch has way more money plays and bombs and just all sorts of crazy plays out there. So, if you're going to have to worry about me throwing this quick pass in the seams to the running back and the tight end every single time, there is no way in the world you can stop the rest of the formation. This play right here takes the formation to the next level. Now, lastly, let's look at cover four. Cover four is is really bad, honestly, too. I think it's one of the worst, just cover four drop, especially one of the worst coverages you can run in the game, if not the worst one. And the same thing is going to happen, guys. You can hit the low ball each and every time. All you have to do is just wait for that soft spot defense and just throw it in there. It's just a timing throw. It's not anything crazy. Sometimes you don't even have to low ball it. One more thing before we end the video is... Always look at the running back and tight end first, but at the same time, don't forget about the flats because especially if someone's zone dropping you or blitzing, I mean, the flats aren't going to be like, you know, huge touchdowns, you know, unless you catch them in a blitz, but just having the threat of the flat on both sides of the field, it makes them defend that because even when they're not blitzing me, just, and I'm not even zone dropping far here either, but just the fact that I can throw that out or the quick flat, and, you know, I can give myself, you know, a good six, seven, eight yards. You can't, as a defense, allow that. And once, you know, you actually do say, okay, okay, like, I'm going to have to play hard flats, that even makes these, these windows even easier to hit. Or it makes the seam open up more just like that. So, at the end of the day, this is definitely a must-have in your offense. If you run any sort of gun bunch, this is a play you want in your playbook because 
you know, we have mesh post that gives you that route to the running back, but having the wheel route to the running back and the tight end at the same time is absolutely priceless, guys. So hope you enjoyed the tip. If you did, smash that like button. I'll be back with some more content.